Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So today we're going to take a look at uh, Tournament of Power, Dokkan Fest, Android 17 and 18. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give them the Rainbow Star. So here is the build I ended up going for them. I just wanted maximum dodging ability. This is a character that I could see myself using a lot, all the time. On maybe even sibling bond teams, like superhero, like you know, they're bringing a variety of strong effects to the to the board here. Um, you know, rainbow orb changing, multiple turn support, uh, scouter effects, right? It, like you're gonna find your like as long as you're running Goku's on the team, you will find be able to find a spot to bring this character. They will be very very good. So um, I felt like giving them just a full dodge to help them right now. I mean, despite how people may like it or may not like it, these AoE bosses are the toughest bosses. The, the, the two hardest fights are against AoE bosses. So, I, you know, we need to respect that. Um, this is a character that could get touched very hard by those AoEs. That dodge, I mean, it, it's a game, same, uh, game changer. We're talking about, you know, 300k damage. Just, oops, we dodge and we don't have to take it, right? Like, something like that is it, just going to be very, very important. So... Um, let's go and jump in. Let's see how much better this character looks. Rainbowed, you know, Link level 5 or so. See if we're getting um, some better performance um, at a Dokkan Fest uh, Android 17 and 18. <laughs> All right, so we are in here. Android 17 and 18. So now we're, of course, rainbowed, so stats should be looking a little bit better. Um, okay, 189. I mean, that's looking like a cool 450 from Fusion Zamasu and Omega. Okay, uh, from their AoEs, of course. So that's not great, for sure. That is why we're going full dodge, kids. Now, keep in mind that this this rotation we're rocking right here, this is just next to, like, a, a Goku, right? So we have Tournament of Power, Fierce Battle. Yeah, dude, the Android links for this character are going to be so damn vital. Like, it's going to be nutty. Very, 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 very nutty. Wow. Okay. Okay. Whew, I saw that. I saw that 189, and um, I just... I, I actually fainted for a split second. I just... I see a lot of, you know... 500k damage before I can blink uh, moments in the future. That's no good. That is no good. All right, so we'll have double Android support right here. That's going to be good with Dokkan Fest. All right, let's see. What are we at right here? Up to 7.57. Okay. Um, now, remember, I mean, damage-wise, I don't really care too much what they're putting up. Um, the effects that they're going to provide for us are more so going to be, um, you know, the scouter, the support, the orb changing. Uh, those types of abilities I care a lot more for. All right, this is actually not too bad of a rotation uh, against this phase right here. Remember that this Frieza um, <clears throat> does have an AoE super attack right here. But, I mean, we got a full rotation of characters that can deal with that. All right, so Homeboy right here is not guarding. But full dodge build comes in, and he dodges it, and he eats it, unfortunately. But uh, there we go. We do love them dodge builds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so let's see what the androids are looking like on the next turn. Next turn. Uh, we're going to have MVP Android 17 next to them. MVP 17, of course, is going to give them um, quite a bit more stats um, that we're actually going to be able to, you know, sort of rock with. Um, now, again, I'm still... I like I, I, I want to see what the defense is looking like for the Androids on this next turn. I, I think that's going to be pretty important to see because it, it, it's like they are good but i i truly don't understand why they would drop this character now and put them in a position where they could potentially get smoked by what is the relevant content keep in mind i think it's important to grade characters like properly right so it's like i don't know like a free-to-play character or like a sub easy like you look at the sub easies right like the int zamasu the str trunks the trunks in my future gohan like, honestly, they're pretty good for what they are. Sub EZA level characters, like, I feel like they can be competitive in difficult fights. Like, they, they could be good in, like, you know, a lot of the different content. Like, I feel like they just gave us a good, good you know, example of it, good taste of it. But 
I don't like the argument of, oh, okay, the Android took 450 from this normal right here. Well, to be fair, 99.9% .9 of the game does. Sure, except for the fact that this character came out today, right? I mean, I don't know the exact cost, but it probably costed me, I don't know, $3,000 to rainbow them? Something like that. It's, again, it's probably something like that. Uh, so, I would prefer, I think, if, um, you know, they would be good for the current content. I think that would be uh, really cool. Really cool. If, like, I could just, like, you know, use them and they could dominate the hardest fights. What Dokkan does do is they do drop characters good for the hardest fights. But, I mean, I guess maybe it's not right away. Um, if we... Let's look at the start of uh, Red Zone. Captain Ginyu certainly could perform very well in a lot of those fights. But then we get, like, Majin Vegeta, who was not great in Red Zone until Vegeta and Trunks came out. I mean, I, I do like Goku and Gohan and EGL Cell. I thought that they were effective, for sure, in the Red Zone fights. Raditz was not effective. The RF Blues really, were, I guess, were not really that effective. Um, and then, of course, we get, like, Vegeta and Trunks, who dominates it. So, uh, we'll see. Um, I certainly am anticipating um, big-time help. Now, this turn, we're going to be looking significantly better uh, because we're going to be next to MVP 17. MVP 17 is going to cause them to just be way stronger. 273. Remember how many, how much stats they get when they super attack, too? I, I think I, I would be much better with this character. Like, I'd be more on board with them um, if their damage reduction was just at the start of turn. The fact that you have to super attack for it, 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 it is just iffy. All right, so 6.92 million we're doing right here. So keep in mind, from this point on now, for the rest of this fight... We're going to be popping these two-turn support buffs. Oh, we got the crit right there. Nice. Um, we're going to be popping these two-turn support buffs quite often from this point on. So, the entire team is really going to be juiced up a lot. But, I mean, it, it, it's certainly going to be a struggle, I think, going against some of these tougher bosses. So, if this eats our androids, they do take it and they take double digits. Yeah. They took double digits from that. That's pretty good. Um, it's after they super attack... You know, and, and especially like, you know, we're next to 17 or we got a lot of these stats up. They're going to be looking pretty good. I think I really do not like the design choice, though, of making them reliant on um, Goku. I, I, I think that that does suck ass, right? That, them being reliant on Goku is, is pretty ass. Um, okay, so we could pop the active right here. Now, remember, this is not a Rainbow 1718. That's what the point of the showcase is. Let's see. Okay, so they got a defensive equip. Um, they are basically... Uh, the, the, the person built them dodge, which is nice. Now, here's the thing about their active, right? Their active... What if I hit this? Yeah, that did work. Okay. Their active changes tech orbs to int orbs. So... We already are at a point for... Uh, okay, th this is a problem I feel like is going to pop up here and there, but um, their rainbow orb changing is only for the first four turns. So, uh, you know, I, I think that that's something that can really become an issue. So, I mean, we're still in the honeymoon period here, and I'm just, you know, kind of identifying, I think, a lot of flaws that I'm seeing. Um, they are very good, but they could have been made just a little bit better. I, I mean, I, 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 people are mad at me that I'm so harsh and, like, kind of, like, my grading of characters. But, I mean, when they're dropping fights like Omega and Fusion Zamasu and the Trunks from the Mortals and Gods event, like, bro, like, yeah, man. Like, we, you know, uh, these bosses are really hard. Like, I get that people like characters and they want to wish the characters are good. But at a certain point, like, you know, Dr. Show and Dr. Mew, guys... They suck. <laughs> Pack it in. They're ass. Right? Like, you know, you got to understand. So, double digits right there, of course. I mean, this freeze uh, is definitely not hitting hard. At this point, any new release that would struggle with damage 
uh, from any phase besides the, the tech full power phrase at the end here w would be a bad look, right? Uh, one good thing is that this UI Goku is certainly going to be looking quite a bit better um, with all the Android support. But the thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that to tank normals, you need your raw defense to be up near like a million. A million is kind of where you want your defense to be, right? Um, and I don't, UI Goku, he's not going to get quite that high, is he? All right, so the androids here, we're up to 364. So, remember, they're not building up, right? Like, they're not, like, stacking defense or getting hit to build up or supering to build up. All this extra defense we're seeing here is support, right? Like, the androids two-turn support from last turn. Now we have, you know, physical UI Goku, right? Stuff like that. Um, we'll be able to get the seven orbs right there. Let's just go ahead and trigger that. Bam. And so now our stats are going to be a little bit even higher. 381. See, this is a little bit more reasonable. This is still quite a bit of damage from, like, the AoE from, like, Fusions and Monster or something like that. But it's not like, you know, oh, we got touched once, we've lost. Which, I mean, it's it's going to be tricky. Like, double androids against Fusions and Monster and stuff like that um, is going to be really tricky. Is there even an alternative team that I would want to run? Like, we... Right now, the androids, like, we would just be running them. Eventually, we're going to, you know, UI Goku versus the first Jiren. Remember, I've talked about this several times, but we don't really have a card from that. So, so the androids have three 200% leaders. They have Gamma 2, STR Super 17, and then themselves. I mean, Gamma 2 is good enough to go in, like, the Fusion Zamasu fights when it's my Gamma 2 with full dodge. Outside of that, I mean, Gamma 2 is probably going to... That, like, that's tough. Like, we could probably do that. I could try Gamma 2, like, if I don't have 17 and 18 friends. But I, I feel like I do foresee a lot of nonsense, unfortunately. Um, This is a character that they're good right now. But, you know, we need stronger Gokus. If we get the stronger Gokus to show up, sure. What is 23rd World Tournament Goku at? 728. Okay, okay. Remember, he's got some two-turn support going on like that. I mean, Blue Kaioken Goku, he is going to be pretty effective. Blue Kaioken Goku should be pretty good for the Fusion Zamasu fight. Because once we get to physical Zamasu, Blue Kaioken would be able to put him in his place, right? Um, he'd be able to drop that Spirit Bomb and do most of his damage. Plus, all the support that he'd be getting from the androids would really make his support look a lot better. I think that the androids should be fine. Against physical fusions and monsters like normals and stuff like that after they super. Uh, at least I hope so. It is nice that we have the scouter. I'm just trying to think, like, what... I do like a lot of the stuff that they're doing, but there's just a bunch of little flaws that will add up. It's one of those things that, like, when you get into the toughest fights against bosses that are... I mean, honestly, the bosses right now are stronger than us, right? Like, once we're actually in a situation like that, these little flaws will pop up, right? Like, their rainbow orb changing only being for the first two turns, um, you know, not linking very well with the Gokus. I mean, UI, they have at least turn on power, shocking speed, and fierce battle, but, I mean, these androids, they're going to look a lot different um, with MVP 17 around. I, they will put, That is a rotation that will work. MVP 17 plus, plus them. Um, all right, so this is this is nice right here. So we could pop this. We can go ahead and change a couple of those tech uh, key spheres right there. So MVP 17, right? Like he is going to start to get to a point. He is going to be very, very ridiculous. MVP 17, um, you know, especially like if your health is low, he has those extra stats and stuff like that. I, I think MVP 17, he's going to be he's going to be outrageous now. Um, and if, you know, you guys are built, if, if you're built like mine, we're, oh no, no, not the legendary dodge 50 normals in a row and then eat the super, although he ate it for double digits. <laughs> no, damn, that's the clip that they pull and say, dodge is so good, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the one that they pull up right there. Um, but yeah, MVP 17 is going to be juiced heavily. I... I feel like I probably would like running only one of this character as opposed to running two of them. Um, and my reasoning for this is because MVP 17 is awesome, but the second 17 and 18, 
is going to look very underwhelming compared to, to the one next to MVP 17. And it's like Team Universe 7 is not good enough to run in the tough fights. Right, That that's a character that could link up very well. Um, that's, you know, it's like, the, again, the Gokus don't necessarily work that well with them either. Hmm. <laughs> um, all right, let's put them in slot one. They'll get the finishing blow right here. We we see the scouter right there, so we know we are safe. We can put them in slot one. Remember, you, you do not want to put 17 and 18 in slot one. Um, but, damn, just normals do that, huh? All right, nice dodge. The dodge is helpful. Yeah, all, all of their defense is coming on Super. Remember that w when Goku shows up, they're it's a mass. They're massively raising, right? It's a hundred percent attack and defense for the turn. All right, so we're going up against full power Frieza here. Uh, and he is not supering apparently. Okay. Um, I'll hit this, although it doesn't really do anything here. Yeah, dude, type orb changing into type orbs? Like, thanks, man. Doesn't really do shit. Okay. Sure. Is Blue Cow King gonna die here? He's not, right? There's no way? Nah, we have too much support flying all over the place. Alright, let's see what they do here. I mean, I feel like we've, again, we, we've seen what the androids are doing. Um, I, I'm not sure how obvious it's gonna be to a lot of you guys. Like, how much, like, significantly buffed characters like 17 and blue kaioken and ui goku and these characters are but they are looking a lot better but i mean we're now i i would feel a little bit better about this team if i wasn't having to run you know egl ui and stuff like that like i would like to run a brand new ui goku who is going to be like a ridiculous you know you know a dual dokkan fest with jiren or something like that like that type of ui goku that would make this feel a little bit better um I'm not really too sure. I, this character right now, I would say somewhere within the top five. I mean, they're certainly better than Turles and shitty ass Super Trunks and like STR Super 17. Right, a bunch of the losers Dokkan has released this year. Um, I mean, the Androids are definitely better than Kale. I, it breaks my heart, but Kale at this point is unfortunately in loser status because Universe 6 is just completely dead. Um, I mean, 17, 18 are better than all of them, but I mean, I just. My main issue, at this point, my main issue with Dokkan, everyone is going to have different things that bother them about the game, or they're, you know, they wish would have been improved, you know, yada, yada, yada. For me, it is very simply um, that I just wish that the characters were better. I wish that they were giving us stronger, better characters. Um, I, I feel like they're, like, it's fine that they're not giving us better characters if they're not increasing difficulty as well. But they did increase difficulty. Oh, uh, yeah, we're out of orbs right here. Um, the thing is that the androids, I mean, even 69% Link Level 2s, they're going to be A-OK -okay at the end right there. Um, we're probably not going to finish Frieza off. I'll be curious, if UI Goku gets hit here, I'll be curious to see how much UI Goku will take. UI Goku is not a character who... He is a true dodge or die character at this point, right? Like, he's not going to be ready to take normals from a lot of these bosses. So, we'll see how this is going to look right here. If he does get hit, of course. And keep in mind, too, that 23rd World Tournament Goku, he's not going to be quite as effective as you guys are used to. In the toughest content, if you don't have a revive ready to go off, he is going to be more than a little bit fraudulent, right? Okay, 257... Okay, he eats the second one. He eats the third one. Okay, UI. Sure. Well, I guess, I mean, we were done with the showcase anyway. I guess if, he, if UI Goku's going to do that to us, uh, this is the spot to do it. Not because we're going to need him. When we're fighting Red Zone Fusion Zamasu, we are going to need UI Goku to come clutch. Because they need these Gokus, the tournament participants' Gokus on there. So, let me know what you guys think of this character. I Their flaws to me... Are kind of really screaming at me right now. I'm not really too sure. I, I think we're going to have issues in these tough fights, man. I see it. I do see it. Uh, I really like what they're doing with all their support and stuff like that. But it's going to be quite a bit spooky. So let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys next time.